Hey guys, just eyes up front real quick. One last time, before you head back to work on the Google Slides, are there any last questions about the different Creative Commons licenses we've talked about? Carlos, yes. Clarifying question, in the attribution, you have to say who made it? Yes, you need to say who made it for the attribution license. Thank you for asking. Mr. Renly, I have a question. Here you go. Um, it did, I found a picture, but it doesn't have a license. Can I use it? So you don't see any sort of public domain or Creative no. Commons logo or license? What do you guys think? You should. You should. You should. We're, we're going to have to assume that it's copyrighted, but let's take a closer look and see if we can find what that, that license might be, or, or maybe who made it, okay? Mr. Bentley? Well, yes. Um, does CC0 mean public domain? Yeah, it means you're able to use it. No, no restrictions whatsoever. Correct. Thanks for asking. Nice work, you guys. This is awesome. Lisa, a question? Just to make sure I understand this, does no derivatives mean I can use it but I cannot change it? Correct. Use it, but you can't change it. Did we hear the question? Yes. Yes. No derivative, you can use it, but you can't change it. Ooh, cool picture of a blue whale. Beloved, do you know what the license is in this image? Uh, no. Okay. Let's click on the page and see if we can find the license, maybe. Ah, look, right here, see, Mike Johnson, that C, that means copyright. We can't use that. Did you use Google Images and then do the usage rights search? What's that? Let's go back. Hit back. Scroll up to search tools. And then let's go to usage rights. Ah, see, it's not filtered by license. Let's go to labeled for reuse. These images you're going to be able to use because they're labeled for reuse. So let's see, why don't you hover over an image and we see one that's maybe not with Flickr because Flickr we can't get to. How about like up here, right over here? Okay. Wikipedia, try that. Let's visit the page. There's the picture if you click on it. Ah, go to more details. And then scroll down. Oh, look. See with the line through it? Mm -hmm. What license is that? Um, public domain. Perfect. So that means you, you can use it for whatever you want to. No rights attached. Cool. Right on. Cool. Good work. Thanks for finding that. Great job with your Google slide presentations today, you guys. Really appreciate all the hard work. Let's go ahead and head back to pacerkids.org to the anti-bullying website. Hey, Mr. Bentley, do you have permission to use that screenshot on the blog? Ooh, that's a good question, Alofa. You know, I don't really know if I can use a screenshot without asking for permission. I didn't think of that. What do you think we should actually do then? Ask permission. You know, let's actually see if we can email them and, and ask permission if we can use that. Um, there's a contact link. Okay. Hey, you guys, give me your eyes for just a second really quickly. Remember the email we sent to Pacer Kids about the screenshot, asking if we could use it? Yeah. We got an email back. Really? really? That's pretty crazy. One day. Check it out. Let me turn the lights off uh, so you can see it. It says, Jim, I appreciate you reaching out and appreciate you linking to the website. And yes, you have permission to share the image and link. So, did they give us permission? Yes. We totally have permission to use it. 
Should I have asked before? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I probably should have, but no harm, no foul. So we can use it. 